Right. Okay. Welcome back to the BSN channel. Today's a very hot day in England. We don't get a lot of hot weather. It's about 30 degrees. That's hot in this country. Humidity is close to 100%. So, yeah, everyone's sweating. But what I want to talk about is I'm with my mum in the car, so, you know, say, say hello, mum. Hi. Hi, people. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about is some, some tribal discussions. Um, I don't want to start any issues. I just want to state some facts. Uh, there's one issue I have with... What's it? Did it like that? Towards the window. There's some issue I have with, uh, say, the Fanti... The Fanti language, which, which doesn't... It exists in my opinion. That's very annoying what that car did. Yeah. Very what type annoying. of car he's holding? He's driving? Porsche. You know that, that is the reason why. Mum, you're just lucky this is not my past days because if I had a hammer, please I, I'd get out of this car and just This Porsche, what do you understand? you know? I'll i I'll turn that Porsche into a Ford. It's showing off until you go bang yeah, in front of his face. It goes through pillars. But you understand, on a hot day, yeah, people don't want to play about. I'm not. When I'm sweating, yeah, I'm not in a good mood. So, actually, no, I do like this weather, I'm not gonna lie. I do like it. You've got the air condition on. Yeah, that's for you. It's not for me. Because I close the windows. But yeah, my, my main issue with the fancy language is that it's not a language. And when I hear people say, oh, yeah, I speak fancy and I also speak tree, baffles me. It baffles me so much. I, I don't understand what that means because if anyone speaks tree here, yeah, well, you understand Fanti tree, right? Like, Fanti is not a different language. It's a dialect. So it's not a language. That, that's one thing I don't understand when you say, oh, I speak Fanti, but I also speak tree. That, I, I see it as a bit of disrespect. It's like you're separating yourself from the rest of the Akan tribes who speak tree. Tree is the language. Akan is the, is the tra is the family, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so what you should say is, I speak Fanti dialect of tree. I also speak Asante dialect of tree. Ekya Pim, Achim, uh, Asin, whatever, Ahanta. Aquemu, whatever. There's so, so many different tribes. Quote. Yeah. Bono. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, you're bringing a Bono topic. Yeah, but we all came from Bono. Like, if you're a can, yeah, we all came from Bono. So when, when we make fun of Bono people saying, bear, 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 we all came from Bono mine. How? That was our family. That was one family once upon a time. You're talking about shanties or this time? Or I'm talking about Akans. before Ashantis, before we divided up, we were all one family. We still are. It's just an umbrella of different people. You know? So where do you think... Um, I just don't I like the way fanties separate themselves. I mean, we're all together. We shouldn't separate. So next time, say you speak fanti tree, I don't want to hear Fanti because it's not a language, it's a dialect. Mm. You know? That's like saying I speak London, Londoners, English. I, I speak London. That don't make sense. I just speak standard English. That's what it is. I don't separate it from the rest of my country. Yeah. So, I'm not going, I'm not having a go at Fanti people. They're one of the great, greatest people in the country. I love the sound of their dialect, you know. It's, it's like, it sounds so slippery of the tongue. It's, it's, it's beautiful to hear, especially when you're in Cape Coast or Agona Shredru or some places like that. You can hear the proper, proper fancy dialect. But it's not a language. I just think it's disrespect when you say, oh yeah, I also speak tree as well as fancy. 
what do you mean tree? What tree? So all of a sudden, tree is everything else but fancy. What about a hunter? A Kriapim. What about Achim? You know there's three different states in Achim alone. So how are you going to just separate yourself from that? You're not Inzima. Inzima is actually a different language to the point where we don't understand Inzima. I don't even think Fanti people understand Inzima. So, but they can do that. They can separate themselves. Also the Baole tribe in Cote d'Ivoire, they're Akan people. The Anya tribe, also from Cote d'Ivoire, they, they speak a different language. It's more influenced by French. But I'm sorry, Fanti, it's not a different language. I understand Fanti. It sounds different, but I understand it. Okay? Ga is a different language. Ewe, that's a different language. Dagbani is a, is a different language. There's m many different languages. Can we go to the north but, but what? bit? Of what? Can you tell us a bit difference about the north? Why people, you know... Oh yeah, it's one issue... Like, disrespecting One it. thing I don't... One issue I don't like is... Um, well, it's not a bet. It's, it's not like we make fun of them, but I don't like the term northerners. You know, like, you know when people say, "Oh, where's he from?" Like, well, what tribe is he from? Oh, he's a northerner. But if he was from the south, and you say, "Hey, what tribe is?" He from? Oh, he's Fanti. Oh, he's Ga. Oh, he's Dangbe or Dangme. Yeah, uh, Shanti. Yeah. So, of course, Achim, whatever. But when it comes to North, oh, he's a Northerner. How would you like it if, you, if they referred to Southerners like that? Oh, you, you're a Southerner. No, no, I'm, I'm a Shanti. No, you're a Southerner. So what do you want them to say? How about we, 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 we start noticing other tribes? Do some research. I, not even I know all the tribes. There's like more than 60 tribes in Ghana alone. More than 60 languages. So Ghana the, alone. So north. So how do you want them to? Just be? research one tribe in the north. Have some respect. Yeah, there's. I don't know so many tribes. I know the Frafra, uh, Sisala, Dagomba, Komkomba, Nanumba, Gunja, Dagomba. That's as much as I know. But that's through my own research. Because as Ghana as a whole, we gotta respect each tribe. So I, I don't like the term Northerner if you can't accept the term Southerner. As long as you don't mind being called Southerner, I don't have a problem with Northerner. But don't separate North like that. I don't like them. I think it's quite rude. So what connection do you know about the, uh, the Ashantis and the North people? Well, we've been using the North... I don't like saying North... Again, I don't even like saying Northerners. But I don't know what particular tribe... It, it might have been Dagumba, I don't know. But a lot of people from the North of Ghana were used as uh, workers. I mean... In uh, South. You could say slaves back in the day, but it wasn't really like that. Because some of them married into the Ash Ashanti tribe. Majority so, of them. But they were used as workers, even to this day in Kumasi. A lot of the, ha the what do you call them, the ground workers, the people who... The housemates. Look yeah, the people who look after your house for you. Watch them come men, from then. the north. You know, and they're very humble people. Hard workers. Um, so, we've been alongside them for, for years. I mean, people forget that a Kan tribe came from north. There was people living in Ghana before the Akan tribe came. So when you say Akan tribe came from the north, meaning um, they, they all, all of them came from north. We all came from north. It's just uh, Akan was a very prominent. I don't know if they called themselves the Akan tribe at the time, but they were very prominent in war. So they could travel places and take it over. They were mm. very good at it. So they were looking for a place with vegetation. Mm, like a forest and yeah. things. And when they found forest region, which is in the south of Ghana, 
they must have thought, yeah, well, this is where we're going to stay now. But there was people staying there before. Hmm. How about the uh, BA people, the Brown and then the Ashantis? What's the much difference between them? Because a lot of Ashantis can be a bit discriminative, being uh, thinking, oh, you're from BA, you know, a Brown half or you're and I'm Ashanti and all these bra bra bra. Can you explain that? That doesn't make sense to me because Ashantis are very close to Bunu. Like in terms culturally and geographically. Yeah but They're very close so I don't I don't understand that because Bunu is Are like, they not one one person, one people or something? Are they all not from a Bunu? Yeah well, that's what I mean. We all come from there so I don't understand the disrespect. You don't disrespect people from Brongafo region because before uh, we went further south, we was in areas like Techimai and Brekum. Brekum, Doma, you know, all those yeah, places. We was all in all those places. So we need to show respect to those tribes. And even the language they speak is, is closer to the language we used to speak. You know, a lot of the dialects you know, excluding the Bunu people was um, influenced by a certain tribe that was already there before the Akan came. Mm. Like, really? Really? Is he going to cross the road like that? Yes. Like, he just doesn't care about his life. No, you should care for him. Yeah, our language was influenced by the tribes already there. Like especially people like Kwau and Ekrepim and Achim, there was there's a there's a reason why the dialect started to change because there was people already there. I really want to hit this bit more because I want more. But Bono is has re, they've like preserved the language. Mm. It's the closest to what we used to speak. The the tree that everyone speaks is very watered down. Now, it, well, I don't want to say watered down, but it's changed, especially in the Kra region, it's very watered down. In Kamasi, I can't say the same thing. Or Cape Coast, they speak their dialect very strong, but it never used to sound like that. So when we, when we laugh about bear, 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 originally we all used to speak bear, 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 bear. Right. Yeah, you're talking about your ancestors, you know? Because the. the the Akan belief is that we all come from one mother. Mm. Yeah? Your mother gives you the blood and flesh, your father gives you the character. Right? That's yeah. the belief. That's, that's probably the only reason why I do Ghanaian videos because, you know, the tradition is passed down the mother's side, you know? Inheritance is on the mother's side, everything's on the mother's side. That's how I'm very close to the culture. My mother. So if my father was gone in, I doubt I'll be doing it, talking about this. But what's the point that you want me to come get across? Um, um, uh, I just want to know a bit more about Ashanti history because a lot of Ashantis think they are the superior in Ghana. Mm. Um, you know. But once upon a time, the Ashantis were well. They were underneath a certain tribe. Right. Which was the, uh, I can't pronounce, Dentra. Dentra, yeah. yeah. That was hard to pronounce, but the Dentra, they were a very prominent tribe. They were, they were the Ashantis before the Ashantis, if you know what I mean. All right. And um, so on the uh, Osei Tutu, yeah. they moved these people, they grew, they planned their way to defeat them. They did defeat them, it was a massive battle. I don't remember the name of the battle. My, my, my history is not that good. Right. But it was a big war. It changed the face of that, you know, I can't, the land of the Akan people. Mm -hmm. And um, from then on, it was the Ashantis who ruled all the Akan states. There was many, many Akan states and Ashantis used them to uh, turn against the Denchida. To, to win the war? Yeah, you know, 
one good thing about the Ashantis I noticed is they were very civilized in the sense that they they knew how to play mind games. It's like they knew how to play chess without the board. Like they they were clever. Everything was tactical. Nothing was just done. You know, everything had different things. Like even the way Kamasi was um, built. You know, Kamasi is like well, it's a city full of villages, but it was planned like that. You have the main part, part and then you have all the villages around it. Like where we're from, Donyana, near Ajusu. Mm -hmm. That's planned. They built many satellites, so when an enemy comes, say the Achim used to be the enemy of the Ashanti, when they'll come, each village will sound the, uh, the talking drum from village to village. And, and then it will come back to the Asante Hine. Right. So he, he can plan what he has to do before they get to the city. So it was very strategic. Right. I, I mean, it's too much. I can't talk about the whole Asante history because there's too much. But the bit that I want to know is the pomposity of um, the uh, Ashanti people. They think they are the best. And so. Alright, so uh, welcome back to the BSN channel. Cooking once again. Uh, right now we're grinding what's uh, something called dawa dawa. Uh, 